Hey, this is Mike. Hey, I'm uh, messing around with a little, uh, it's just a goofy little program that I made for the 4th of July. Actually, I started out with this program from uh, the, co uh, what's it called, the codeproject.com. Somebody put something out there where they made a fireworks simulator. And uh, so I modified it a little bit and made it so that it will actually output to the laser. Uh, you can enable and disable your laser output right here. Uh, this is a list of configuration files, so if you if you look down at the bottom, you can see the uh, as soon as you select one of these uh, different configurations, see the colors down here. Each one of these controls right here controls an individual mortar, and you get to pick the uh, color of the explosion. You get to pick the type of explosion, how high you want it to go, uh, the size of the burst, and then uh, what sound you want it to make. Like if I click on these different sounds, you can hear the different sounds that it makes. And then uh, over here you got the uh, volume that the mortar sound makes. Here I'll just launch one for you here. I'll go back to my default. I've got kind of a variety set up here. So this one I'm going to pick uh, this green one here in the middle. You can see it go up right there. And then it pops like that. So if I show you the wall over here where the projector's going, and I fire it, see it going up. Pop. Just like it did on the screen over here. And then these are also uh, configured so that they respond to the F keys. So if you just drag your uh, finger along the F keys here, See, I got those all set up for a variety. I'll do the same thing over here on the wall. So that's about it. And uh, uh, I've got the sounds that are being cued um, every time you hit one of these. When you pick one of these different sounds, that's just out in a subfolder you know and they're named um, I think like boom one boom two boom three so if you wanted to modify those you could just go out and um, you know you could just find some of your own sounds and just change those files out and then it'll start you know using those sounds so that's it